All right, here is my set of assignment two videos. Um, this is for assignment two, like I said. Um, sorry, I'm just pulling up some notes here. Um, so I have made four activities. Um, two of them require live music, and two of them use recorded music. The first one... Um, I thought we would sort of ease into a session with a game of <laughs> name that tune and um, uh, and um, the purpose of this would be to improve uh, long-term memory access and to um, sort of improve the the cognitive full plasticity and um, the presence in reality. So, um, what we would need is an electronic device with a speaker, um, recordings of eight different songs um, from the 30s, 40s, 50s, or 60s. Um, in in uh, this scenario, I have curated two from each. Um, with examples like California Dreamin', um, Find Me to the Moon by uh, Frank Sinatra, I'm a, I'm a Believer by the Monkees, um, just, as just as examples. And um, uh, ideally, uh, we would have an erasable board with, uh, uh, with uh, dry erase markers, but pencils and paper will, will do um, essentially we would break up the clients into two different groups um, randomly and uh, we would explain the rules so if I was leading the session I would say okay everybody uh, so today we're going to play a game of name that tune and uh, how that's essentially going to work is we're going to split you guys up randomly and then we are going to ask you each to, to listen to uh, to an excerpt from a song and to name the title of the song. And if you can, the, the, the artist the, that it's by. Uh, so we're going to let you hear about a 10 seconds of the song. Uh, and... Uh, Whoever we ask to answer, they can answer first. And if they get it, then you win a point. And uh, if you then if you aren't able to guess, then uh, we're, we're going to give the other team a chance to, to try and quote unquote steal it from you. So uh, they can then take a guess, and if they get it right, then they get to the point. So, we will essentially take turns presenting songs to you. Um, so, like I said, we would um, play them about 10 seconds of each song, and then um, you give the group as a whole the time to discuss. And then if they still can't you think of the name of the song or the artist it's by, then we are going to hand it over to the other team and see if they can figure it out. And um, I think that's a good warm-up. It's a good um, cognitive um, engagement. Uh, and then uh, the next activity that I had planned, uh, I suppose I feel like it would be good to alternate a more cognitive-focused activity any more the physically focused activity. So um, the second activity would be the other, the recorded music activity, which um, I titled Sensory and Motor Stimulation Through Instrument Play. And uh, we would be using um, an assortment of handheld percussion instruments like the maracas, claves, bongos, djembes, and uh, glockenspiels that are tuned to, to to the correct pentatonic key and uh, we would need an electronic music device 
with a speaker, like a boombox or a smartphone with a Bluetooth speaker, and a recording of Nat King Cole's L-O-V-E on whatever medium is appropriate. Um, and I would explain to the clients that we are going to be listening to the song and <laughs> determining a rhythm to, 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 to play together with it. Uh, and uh, I would start by demonstrating a one measure on, one measure off, a simple rhythm in 4-4 four, four time, uh, such as just clapping on in 2 and 4. So, um, I'm sorry, let me just pull it up here. essentially just clapping like that but alternating measures although at this tempo we may need to do two on and two off just because of the speed it's at um, uh, so after playing the song for about 30 seconds uh, I would pause the recording and ask everybody how they're feeling so far what what uh, they're liking about it what they're not liking about it um, and then we can alter the rhythm as the clients feel comfortable to. Um, I can demonstrate and lead an improv, um, a very slight improv, so. A little bit of a swing rhythm. Uh, and then I can encourage the clients to uh, participate with their own improvisation if they would like to um and then after we have all mirrored the, the same a, a new rhythm then we can uh, uh, play the track again and try to match it as best as possible um for the third activity that i had um I call it a, a blues songwriting. And I printed out a, a guide sheet. I don't know if you can read that because it's backwards, but I can also email it to you along with this video. Um, and uh, it, it says, I've been feeling blank. It's putting me off my beat. I'd like to be blank, but something's got me feeling weak. I'll blank and I'll blank, and then I'll be back on my feet. So this is a little rhyme scheme that I came up with a, a little while ago. Uh, and uh, I feel like it's pretty perfect for uh, this, this, this population. Uh, the goal is to discuss uh, the client's individual goals, uh, the obstacles that they face, something that they're grateful for, and something that, th that they're not very grateful for at the moment. And then... Um, we will try to fill in each blank with um, one individual client's experience and then you sing it all together. And the chord progression is a, uh, a pretty simple 1 4 1, a 5 4 1, the 12 bar blues. <laughs> So it would essentially go like, I'll put in my own words for this. Um, I've been feeling stressed and it's putting me off my beat. I'd like to be done, but something's got me feeling weak. through and I'll set back and I'll be back on my feet 
So um, that was a little bit uh, rocky towards the end there, but um, but uh, that's the idea of it. Um, uh, the out of the client will um, hopefully provide their own words if if we have a particularly non-responsive group, we can try and get um, one blank per person and see if we can, uh, you know, because this is basically outlining problem, goal, and then the bridge between them. Um, and then for the uh, the fourth uh, intervention uh, would be a relaxation exercise. Um, it's a blackbird by the Beatles. Just a uh, simple muscle relaxation, um, like progressive. The muscle relaxation would be getting at the face and working our way down. Um, so it's it's a little bit difficult to um, play this song and um, guide the relaxation at once. So um, I would likely have um, one of my the partners um, explain the relaxation process while I played. a note there but um i've been playing that song for years and um i have found that it works really really well um so uh that's my assignment too thank you <laughs>